Ja, okay. Ja, okay. <coughs> so we are seven lines from the bottom of on page from the in the top section. Uh, okay, uh, the, the wide lines. The line begins with the words Uve Hashwaz Achokme Bebina. So we have this parenthetical insert pointing out that what we are talking about over here is a different concept, the principle of Chochmah than is discussed elsewhere. Without going back to that, we're coming back to our mind. Chochmah fully is, is fully cognizant and imbued with the truth of, of Yeshua Amiti. <coughs> this is all that it recognizes. <coughs> that is not recognizing Chochmah as a secondary cognizance, but as a primary cognizance. It is not something which is discovered, but it is something which is part and parcel of the Chochmah. Yeshua Amiti. <coughs> The true yesh. Coming back to the clear statements of the Rambam. This is what the Rambam promises in his safer before in the introduction that everything he writes is going to be extremely clear. Except you have to pay attention. Ramam writes right in the beginning of the Sefer that the first principle is to know that there is a first being. And we discussed this many times. We cannot even delve into that thought, first being. But first being means by statement that it is there in and of itself. It is the first of all. That is what needs to be recognized. This is the first, this is the, fund, the foundation of all foundations. This is called Amitis Emotis. Amitis Amitis. Yesha Amiti. This is what's recognized in Chochmah. Clearly, if we reflect on this, we can readily recognize that this is really a divine present, a divine gift. This is not a natural, worldly entity. In world, everything has to develop in, in, in a gradual manner. As we know, in the very creation, the beginning of the creation, the creation was, it says, yes, there was the whole creation of infrastructure, the, the heavens and the earth, but within the creation itself, nothing was known. It was dark. And light came to counter the darkness. This is how things are known in the world. But we have the capacity in our souls to know a, a, a truth that is beyond this casuality of, 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 the, of, of the discovery. When we first wake up, we already know that there is this truth. Before we even ask ourselves a question. We don't have a question. We have the answer to begin with. This is the Yesh Ho'amiti. That the emes is Yesh. It is he is there. Not as a, as a response to, to not being there. No, but he is there. Mitzad, 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 emes. This is... Thank you very much. This is the Chochmah 
consciousness. This is that which is known, which is present in our soul. This is what we live with. This is what we wake up with. <coughs> this is the beginning of all of the entire human structure, entire reality that human being is aware of. And from this begins the the outflow, so to speak, and the and the, uh, the, the, the this development of of all human activity, starting from bina, where bina is the next of kin to to Chochmah. bina has this, this, this wisdom to delve into that Chochmah and to try to, to decipher it and to understand what it is. I want to interject here a very important principle. It's very important for many reasons. And one primary reason is because the world he became oblivious to this truth, which is a primary truth. And because of this oblivion, we all tend to, to go to that venue. And that is, <coughs> we start examining the world from a worldly perspective. Let the world tell me about itself. This is if you reflect on it, it's the stupidest thing to, say, to, to even contemplate. The world didn't create itself. And the, and the world, so to speak, the, the wise man of Helm decided, oh, that's, that's real wisdom. Will the world tell me about itself? That blind wisdom. Wisdom is that when you delve into that which the Chochmah shows you, tells you, and then you, you draw from that your knowledge. This is the Bina and Chochmah combination. And now we're going to go inside. This is an important, this is, um, so to speak, on my tongue all the time, because I, I, I know what, what some people are going through. They must rise out of this. Okay, so we are, as I said, the sixth line from the bottom of the, from the end of the top section of page side Zion. And the line begins with the word, Ubevei Hashwaz HaChoch I didn't understand what well, just in, in one word that I was writing. Uh, what's the combination, Bina Chachma combination? Is that what it means? Bina does not begin life on its own. Okay. It doesn't start investigating. Let me. Let that me. Has the basic Chachma. Yeah, it goes to Chachma. Okay. 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 You could say that this is the wisdom of we Bina. Bina recognizes this is stupid for me to go investigate the world on my own. I have no beginning. In Russian, there's an expression. I don't mean he is Russian, right? In Russian, there's an expression. Yaitsi kuri ichut. The eggs are teaching the chicken. 
the hands. The eggs are teaching the hand, right? <laughs> Could be anything more special than that. You, you don't even know where you're coming from. All right. And then when the hashpah, the effect of the chokhmah comes into bino, nikraz hashpahs hachokhmah ay. Then the hashpah of the chokhmah is called ay. Because prior to that, it is Yesh, Yeshu Amiti. Yeshu Amiti means it is the truth as it is until it's not because it's true, but because it's Yesh, it's really present. It's the beginning of all beginnings. But then when it comes down to Bino, Bino cannot relate to this yesh in that manner. Bino takes takes an effect of that and has to translate it at its level. And its level is the, bina, the, the, the level of bina is I start from not knowing and I have to discover. That's the only way bina can can understand things. Therefore, in bina, that same hashpo is called I. He has to start from from non-entity and then develop, okay, what is there? What are you giving me? When the hashpo of chokhmah come into bino, nikraz hashpo of chokhmah ay. The hashpo of chokhmah itself Okay, please stay with me over here. The Ashpo of Chochmi itself is called Ayin. What does it mean? Ashpo of Chochmi, not what you draw from the Chochmi. We're not interested, we're not talking about what you draw from the Chochmi. It is Ashpo of Chochmi, of essence of Chochmi, of the brightness of Chochmi. Of the reality of Chochmah itself. Chochmah is Mashfia of itself. Not what it knows, but of itself. Life itself. So when this Ashposa Chochmah comes into Bino, then that Hashpo is called Ay. Nikraz Ashposa Chochmah Ay. Again, I'm, I'm emphasizing it. It is not that Chochmah is telling Ayin, telling Bino, what it can know. It's giving of itself to Bino. That which Chochmah is giving of itself to Bino, that giving, that gift is called Ayin. It's a Chochmah gift, it's not a, a gift of Bino. It's a gift of Chochmah. <coughs> but it's a gift of Chochmah to, to Bino. And what is the difference? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... Okay, let's, let's stop at this, at this point. <coughs> the Hashpoza Chochme is called I at that point. Vahainu. <coughs> that Hashpoza Chochme in Bina is... What is it, in fact? This is... Bechina Zahanoch Sichlis. This is the Bechina Zahanoch Sichlis. In Bino itself, even though this is Bino, this is already, so to speak, a presence in the world, a worldly presence. But there is a Hanoch Sichlis in Bino. This is the imp- input and the effect of Chochmah upon Bino. This is called Hanoch <coughs> As we discussed 
way back when. In terms of time, it could be two years ago, but <laughs> it's just been the previous page. But now is, is an approximation of Chochmah. But it's 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 in Bina. It's a Hanocha Sichlis. It's a Sichlis conclusion that is not based on any kind of arguments and proofs. It's a direct cognizance because it it, it is the gift and effect effect of the Chochmah. It is the effect of Chochmah upon Bina. This is called Hanocha Sichlis. This is the Chochmah within the Bina itself. <coughs> this is called Hashpoza Chochmah. Hashpoza Chochmah and Bina. And relative to Chochmah itself, it is Ayin. Because it does not draw its knowledge, its it, it does not draw its inspiration and its force directly from the Yeshua meeting. It draws it from the Chochma, from what Chochma knows. Therefore, it's called Ayn. But this Ayn has the, the benefit that it can be Nishpa, it can be bestowed, given to Bina. Bina is able to contemplate and relate to this Ayn. Well, let's continue at the end of that line. This is the Hadanoche Sikhis. The Masha Musuk Bebino. Because that which is comprehended in Bino, this is not Musuk. This is something which is Chochma within Bino. Chochma functions within Bino. It's Hadanoche Sikhis. It's not. It's not open to investigation and to question. This is this, this is the Choch effect. Because Masha Musa Bibino, because that which is comprehended in Bino, who rag ha use is only the Chitsoinius. Chitsoinius means the apparent, that which comes external. The Haino, which means Hasichli Sibin Kurzaskol. The Sichli element in the Kurzaskol. In the point of the Haskol of the, of the conceptualization. Aval Hahanocho. But the Hanocho that is contained in this in the Kurzaskol. I'm not translating it because we already went through this several times. The Hanocho, Shezeho Bechinus Ho Atzmo Sibin Kurzaskol. The Hanoch, which is the essence, the etzel, in the in this Nakud is as called Harei Zeh Bivchinas Ayin LeGavna Bin. This is the Ayin of the Bin. The Hanoch is not fully comprehended in Bin. It has an effect on Bin. Bin recognizes that there is much more to the truth than what it can decipher and what it can put in perspective. And it relates to it, but it cannot grasp it. It's, it, it remains the eye, <coughs> the, the distant supporter of this, of this thought process. Let's go inside now. Okay, the line, this is the third line from the bottom on that section. This is the Atzimus that is in the Kuzha Skola. What is this term, Atzimus in the Kuzha Skola? The Atzimus means, <coughs> please understand, the Atzimus means the es- essence. Essence means it's not something that is constructed, that is proven, that is understood. The truth itself, as we said before, everything begins from the truth. 
from the presence of the of the uh, Amiti, not from nothingness. The whole begins from nothingness, but the truth begins from from Yeshu Amiti. That's the the venture vantage point from which we we want to know things. From the godly vantage point, not from the worldly vantage point. There's nothing to know in the world. This is an iron element from the Bina perspective. That is really concealed because Bina cannot really understand it, grasp it. It allows it to affect it. It, it accepts the Hanoch Sikhvis, but it itself is not capable of really grasping it. This is a real challenge to our intellect. To allow a truth that we recognize as a truth, but we're not capable of grasping it. To allow that to be the basis of our sale. I'm not a Wait, that's, that's the challenge to a worldly intellect? Or that's a, that's a challenge to... to safely? Yeah, the, the challenge, this is the challenge to us... To, us accepting, so to speak, the truth that is being given to us rather than what we discover on our own. Uh -huh. Bina seems to want to look for... Bina seems to have a degree of bitter where it looks to <coughs> find a source for truth, right? And then is able to say, I don't need to put this in my pocket. Bina is not looking for anything. Bina is taking what is given uh, from Koch. This is the challenge to our own wisdom. Why were we given this, our own wisdom, to begin with? What's the purpose of having our own wisdom? To bring that truth into our own lives. In other words, we have to. We have to. Well, Would you prefer be being mevatel, an animal? You have to be. You have to have something to be mevatel. You have to have the truth. No. You're given. You're given. You're a human being given the opportunity to live. At the garden level, only you have that that opportunity. No other creature in the world has. Why the temptation to live in the world? What? Why the because why? You, that's that's the purpose of your creation to transform the world. This is why you're so important. Hanocho. I know what happened here. Something changing. Shezehu bechinas who atzmus shib and nekudas askol. The hanocho, which is the atzmus bechina. What's meant atzmus? The essential, not something which is structured and proven, 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 so to speak. The the essential truth itself. That is in that is in the nekudas askol. It's not Here's the point. Even though it's not Musak Bibino, Umikomo came yet still, Zehuikir Hamokor Bahasi Bola Hasog Bibino. This is the principal source and the cause for all the comprehension that takes place in the Bibino. It's Ein Lagabaybina, but yet it's the principal. It's the principal's cause that for all comprehension that, that takes place in the Bina. 
Is it okay to think that Bina is somehow inspired by this? That's right. Okay. Bina is, Bina is, so to speak, enhanced and confirmed by it. I understand all kinds of things, but it's also flimsy. It's so precarious. Oh, no, but there is an essential truth behind it. This is what, what gives strength to that, that whole process. The canal. Okay, again, at the end of the third line from the bottom. The canal, and as we mentioned earlier, the Hanoch Osichlis, that is Hanoch Osichlis, Noisen as Koyach Behasogo. This actually empowers the Hasogo, the comprehension part. This is what provides for the comprehension part. mentioned many times an interesting phenomenon then at, at some point it, it was normally agreed upon at some point somebody kind of doubted it a very simple a very simple experience you go into a house and the house is a very well appointed home it almost looks like a lived-in home. And you study it, this is how people live, this is how this particular person lived, whatever it is. There are many, many such things, you know, so this is the home of Abraham Lincoln, this is whatever it is. And then, you are told, you discover, that this home was never lived in. It's a model home. This was modeled uh, uh, along the lines of along the lines of a certain type of life style, but it was not. It was not really lived in. Like for example, we have an even simpler thing. We have pictures made of uh, Michelangelo. Michelangelo is is, is this master um, a painter, artist. There are people who can duplicate Michelangelo perfectly. Oh, this is a Michelangelo. And it makes a big difference. So this is a Michelangelo. Or this is something which is which is copied from Michelangelo. What's the difference? What's the difference? It looks exactly the same thing. It lacks the Hanoha secrets. It lacks the, the essence that created it. It has all the Hitonius, it has no previous, it has no essence. For a Michelangelo, people can spend a million dollars. For a for a copy, they'll spend ten dollars. <laughs> Wait, the Anacha has that has the authentic, has the essential by it too. What? This Anacha Sichli, which we think of as maybe intelligent conviction, was translation. This this has within it the authentic, the real deal. Yes, it's it. it's it's an, it's it's the chokhmah in the bin. And it's it's like a piece of chokhmah in the bin. Could you that's right. think of it like this? At the bin, that's right. The hashpov, the hashpov, chokhmah upon the bin. The actual coin, the actual item. Actual coin, exactly right. Okay. Hashpov, chokhmah, the bin. 
that which we understand that's a way chitonius. But that hashpoh is a pnim, is a real, is a real part of chok. You think Bina could not handle that? It would not be a fitting place. It, uh, no, it, it it doesn't handle it. It doesn't understand it. Doesn't grasp it. Yet it no, it doesn't. It just yes. It's there, but not grasped. It's not grasped. That which is grasped, grasp is is hachitzenius of that. Yet this is what provides for the support of the hachitzenius. People study a Michelangelo. They study it to such a degree of detail. Well, look at that little line over there. Oh, this was, no, it's not accidental. This was intended. Every little thing. What's the point? Because, because each one of these, of these drops carries the impact of, of the life element that created this in the first place. This is why there's, there's such an extensive study of it. Lahavdu, when we are learning Memes my morning, we also make point about above and next above here, bibchinas, bichinas, and so forth. All that teaches us. Nothing is, is inadvertent. It's, it's giving us the whatever thought process. And if we are attentive, we gain from, from, from every little nuance. This is a point to draw from what we're learning in here about Chochmah and Bina to understand what it means to learn the Rebbe's mind from the Rebbe's own writing. It's the Rebbe's input into our Seichel. That input is carries with it the Mrebim's own say, the Mrebim's own knowledge. This is why it is totally justifiable to point out to every nuance in that expression. Teacher, a living teacher, sitting there to actually point out these things. Okay, so that's why the Rebbe helps. Them. If you look for a teacher, you can find a teacher. So have a good day. This week, <coughs> also, I'm going to be. A what? Sunday, I hope to meet you soon. I'm going. I'm, uh, I mentioned I, I'm, I'm going to be away for Shabbos, and I hope to come back Shabbos night and have a shiur Sunday, normal time. So we are in the second line from the bottom of the stop section, by the parentheses. Have a great day, a great Hanukkah, and a great Shabbos. The Sunday of the time.